today we're going to be doing, well, Isla's going to be doing my hair like this. But without the ponytail. Crown braid? Yep. Dutch crown braid. Let's get started! I need equipment. Oh. Hairbrush. Pins! Let's Don't go. worry. It's the whole oh, body boom! We are back, 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 back again, again, again. I love us equipment. Goodbye, chair, chair, chair. See you later. Chair. Can you come into the mid deck? Oh, yes, I can. So, it's going to be a Dutch crown braid that we're going to do and we're going to insert. For this it's much easier to do middle parting so the braids are the same length. We're just going to find her nose, draw a line up her face, go back all the way down and split the hair in half. So I'm now going to just put um, this section, you can choose whatever section you like, into a hair bobble just so it's out of the way and you don't get any cross bits and the parting goes all weird. Just lovely little pigtail. So the next bit you'll need to be able to do a Dutch braid upside down which is kind of complicated but it's it a little bit but as soon as you get the hang of it it's great. Good luck. <laughs> You're just going to grab a small section and split this into three pieces and yeah but for dutch braids you put the hair on the left under and then on the right under the middle instead of over like a french braid and it just gives it a lot more volume and makes it look a lot much fuller and then again adding a little bit of hair going under the middle Grabbing another bit of hair from the bottom and going under the middle. So once you've finished with all the hair on the side of the parting, you're just gonna and um, just do a normal braid all the way to the end, like so. You can also, once you've finished, pancake it out. So like pull up and pull like the hair slightly, just to make it a little bit thicker and more fat. <laughs> you know it's going. <laughs> so now I'm going to be using the hairspray in Maximum Hold number no. five, the Silverton Classic <laughs> by Wella. Spray it just to keep the braid in, especially the little end bits. You get the Make sure you shut your eyes so it doesn't go in your eyeballs. Yeah, because that pan badly. Why am I spraying it so close to your head? There you are. You made my arm stink. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so now we're just going to be doing a simple, normal Dutch braid all the way down our hair. I'm just gonna brush it and then we're just gonna do it so it's the same. Keep your head up and um, thanks. And then, but the other way around instead of going backwards, go forwards and again put, split it in three pieces left under middle, right under middle. Grab a little piece and then go left under middle. Right, under middle, and so on until you reach the bottom of the hair. Oh, by the way, let's just shout out to our other videos. If you haven't watched our chocolate muffin bacon video already, go watch, watch it. <laughs> All right. So now we're just plating to the end and putting a bubble in it. Have a bubble in it, love. Oh, want a bubble? Christmas bubbles. Yay. Borbles. I hate it when people say borbles. Oh, do you want a little Christmas borble? I hate when people call any Christmas tree decoration a borble. Uh -huh. They're like, oh, I really like borbles. <laughs> people call like if you buy like a Christmas tree, just hang on your Christmas tree for example, uh -huh. like an angel. Yeah. Just like a little hanging angel. They uh -huh. call that a bobble. That's well, not, not a bobble. It's a Christmas decoration. It's a borble. 
No, borbles <laughs> don't exist. They sound like we trolls. They sound like the biscuit. Borbles. Oh, yeah. All of you, 105 viewers, isn't it? Well, yeah, I'm like 106. Thank you very much. So now that you've got your two braids, your upside down and normal Dutch braid, you're just going to want to sort of place it around in a crown style, however you like it, and you can pin it sort of as you go. So if my head gets in the way, I have one pin just now. Just getting it in a nice position because you can make it stick up like that, but preferably I like it down. It just makes it look slightly more classy or whatever. And any little dodgy wee fly bit, flyaway bits you can just get rid of now. I'm just going to pancake this bit out because it's a very tight. And it looks a lot nicer if it's a little bit wider. hairspray just to make it last a little bit more and you can see she's a beautiful model and if you would like to turn her wait I'll do the hairspray first and you close your eyes lovey I feel like that's what they say in hairdressers they're like no lovey mom close your eyes nice and tight <laughs> and we're done and you can just pull out a few little bits at the side or front or whatever you like to mess it up just to give it a little bit more of a <laughs> so if you'd like to show model the back beautiful <laughs> Coming out to say cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. We can be bothered to get the other chair, so I just yeah. decided to sit on Sarah's lap. Oh, this is the finished hair This is the finished, finished look and so present. I'm not being vain or anything, but yeah, she's a great model. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And um, comment other videos or other hairstyles or videos you want us to film in the future. And don't forget to subscribe.